Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in gorgeous Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Shasta Phoenix 35BL. This is a quad slide unit, it has a bonus room and a loft, very cool. Let's go ahead and start off up front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. One of the first things you will notice is this gorgeous two-tone painted front cap. It has a really nice look to it. You have an LED light here as well if you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. You can see how it's cut out on both sides giving you a greater turn radius as well. That way you can make sharper turns without worrying about blowing out the back window of your tow vehicle. Then as we shoot underneath here, can see the front storage compartment. Open this up, you'll see that is nice and open. Spare tires mounted inside, that way it's protected from the elements. And off to the side here is the battery box, of course your vent there as well, and also a light. So if you are hooking up or disconnecting at night, you can have a little bit of extra vision there. Also down below, uh, you have auto leveling. This is a four point auto level. All you have to do is touch a button, the coach will level itself out after a couple minutes. It also has memory on there, so when you're done camping, Camping, go ahead and hit the button again and the coach will actually move to where you dropped it off at. That way you can just back your tow vehicle right up, connect and go. Right over to the side here, you'll see your two 30 pound propane tanks, so 60 pounds of propane there for you. And then as we open this guy up, slam latch baggage doors on our uh, compartment here, also magnetic, so you just push it up and it stays right there. But you can take a look, good size storage in here. Also, you have a TV connection, so if you do want to uh, hook up an outside TV, you can certainly do that. Light in there as well, so if you need to access it at night, that's not an issue either. Also, if you want to plug anything else in, you'll see right there you have two standard outlets. They do have individual doors too. So one of the things I do like about Phoenix is the construction. When we talk about construction, Phoenix has something that's very unique for the industry. Um, one is they build it very residential-like. So the studs are 16 inches on center, but they're aluminum studs. It has an all aluminum structure on here, which is really cool. Then in between, they put your regular rolled insulation. Then outside of that, they have a, an astrofoil throughout the entire unit. A lot of manufacturers will put that like in the front cap or rear cap, you know, sometimes on the roof, but they don't put it on the sidewalls. Phoenix goes the extra step and gives you that excellent, uh, excellent insulation. So very cool. Uh, again, very unique, very well built from a construction standpoint. If you take a look up top, you'll see the power awning. One of the great things about this floor plan, you don't have a slide here, you don't have any vents, you don't have anything impeding. You have a huge power awning, so this is perfect for setting up camp. Just makes a great outside area. And with the power awning, you just touch that button, rolls out, same thing to roll back in. Also has an LED light strip up there, so you can just go ahead and flip a switch. You don't have to climb up and hang up any lights. Also underneath the power awning, you'll see two outside speakers. That way, again, if you wanna sit out here listen to music, you can certainly do that. Now those are controlled by the multimedia center inside, but that is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can go ahead and connect to that via Bluetooth and again, be able to control your music from the comfort of sitting outside. Getting into the coach though is not a problem. You will notice you have three steps here as well as an easy grab handle. That way you have good grip from the first step all the way into the last one. Moving back a little bit further here, if we take a look down below, you will see the aluminum alloy rims on there, also nitrogen fill tires. Uh, of course, nitrogen fill gives you a little bit better gas mileage, a little better fuel economy on there, uh, and more even tire wear. Then right here is your outside kitchen. Go ahead and pop this guy open for you. You'll see you do have some additional storage right up top here, which is great. LED light to get in there at night. Here's a spot for a TV, so if you can just mount that right on the wall if you want an outside TV. Take a look at this, solid surface countertops. You don't see that in almost any fifth wheel. You know, usually they put like a regular laminate in here, so I love that they went the extra step, put in this beautiful countertop here, two full extension drawers, and then a large fridge freezer there as well for all your condiments and beverages. Now, if you do want to actually cook out here, that's not a problem either. If you take a look right underneath, you will see a propane quick connect so you can hook up your own little grill, you know, just set it right here and cook up whatever you want. Then as you make your way around to the back side, 
Right here is your rear mounted ladder, that way you don't have to bring one. Makes it nice and easy to climb up on the roof for any kind of maintenance. And then you have the aluminum wrap on the bumper which helps protect the bumper as well. Also if you take a look right there, it's a beautiful rear picture window so if you do have a nice view out the back, you can certainly enjoy that in the 35BL. But that wraps it up for out here. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Shasta Phoenix 35BL. This particular model is in the bark interior. If you take a look, you'll see the dual opposing slides here really opens this space up, which is wonderful. Also, when you have dual opposing slides in a kitchen, it allows for your center kitchen island. So I love this. Beautiful solid surface countertops in here. Excellent prep space over here. And that is further aided by the sink top cover. Now you can see the handles right here makes it nice and easy to remove. You can of course flip this over and use this as a cutting board as well. Then you'll see your undermounted sink right here, which uh, again is gorgeous. The, I like this material. Uh, you don't have to worry about it scratching up nearly as easy as stainless. You don't have to worry about it burning either. If you have hot pans, you can put them in, in there up to 500 degrees, so that's not an issue either. And it keeps this color throughout, so definitely a very high grade sink. Then right here you'll see your oil rub bronze pull out faucet, which is great. Uh, nice and easy of course to do dishes. Now also when you have big uh, kitchen island like this, that means you get great storage underneath. So we'll go ahead and open this up for you. You can see they do give you a trash can, plenty of space for it there as well. Then over to the side here, you have a bank of four full extension drawers. The top one does already have a divider built in for your silverware. Then of course, right down below, you can put in larger items like spatula, serving spoons, things like that. Then we'll take a look over at our slide, our uh, door side slide here. Open this guy up for you. You'll see 12 cubic foot fridge freezer combo, nice and big. Plenty of room there for all of your goodies. Uh, has these that raise up too, so that way everything stays in. Some crisper drawers there down below. Now this unit does run off of both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. So if you are running it off of propane, as soon as you plug into shore power, it'll automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on your propane gas. Then as we move over a little further, again, beautiful solid surface here. Uh, and same thing, good prep space. You'll see that the cooktop is covered right there. Uh, electrical outlet here, so if you do want a place for like a Keurig coffee maker, you can go ahead and set that up here. One thing of note, there is an electrical outlet on the other side of this island too. Uh, so again, if you want to plug anything over there like a blender, you can do that too. So the cooktop, as I mentioned, it, it does have the cover on here. It's nice and easy to lift up. You just go ahead and lift it up, push it back like so, and then it stays right there. The cool thing about this, this kind of doubles as a backsplash too because the solid surface is very easy to clean. But three burner Atwood cooktop on there. The front one is high output. Great flame control in the Atwood as well. Very easy to use. And then underneath here is the oven in case you want to do any baking. Underneath the oven, you have another large pull-out drawer, which is great for some pots and pans. And then again, off to the side here, you have additional space. So if you do have taller pans, you can go ahead and put them right in there. Nice pull-out drawer here as well. Then if you move up top a little bit, fully functional hood with the light and fan there. Microwave, there's our weight, just over 12,000 pounds. And then over to the side, you can see the shelf built in. So great spot for spices uh, and really whatever else you want to put in there. One of my favorite parts about this kitchen though is this right here. Take a look at this pantry. It is massive. You get great pantry space up top here. There's some couple of shelves down below, but you know, anything and everything you want to put up there, you certainly can. So I love having that pantry there. Then moving over to this side, we uh, move into our entertainment center. So if you take a look up top here, you'll see additional storage and take a look at how deep that is. Excellent deep storage there, which is wonderful. Uh, here is our TV, nice large TV on there. You got a 40 inch TV. So uh, whether you're sitting in the theater seating or here on the couch, you can go ahead and see that. And this is on a swing arm mount. So if you want to turn this you know, over here or if you want to be able to see while you're cooking, of course, you can turn it that way as well. Then right down underneath is the multimedia center. This is what I mentioned we were outside. Uh, this of course 
controls the speakers outside as well as the speakers inside. That is a radio, CD player, and DVD player. So if you do want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop it right in there and again watch it on your 40 inch TV. Um, also, this is uh, Jensen Electronics for both the TV and the multimedia center. The reason I bring that up is Jensen is a big name brand in the RV industry. Manufacturers generally pay a little more for these electronics, but for good reason. They're built to withstand the shakes and vibrations from going down the road, as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold, so that way you know these products are going to last. So that's definitely something you should appreciate. Then underneath right here is a fireplace. Uh, again, I like a fireplace. You know, I, a lot of people are like, oh, it's kind of overkill. But I'm telling you, not only does it look really nice, it's extremely functional. Because if you're plugged in, you don't want to run your propane, you can kick this guy on. It'll do a good job of taking the chill off in this space. And because it's electric, again, you're not wasting any propane. Now as we move to the back here, one of the things I love that Phoenix has done is their furniture. All right, instead of uh, where most manufacturers, you know, use uh, the same furniture, they'll use Lippert or uh, another manufacturer. Uh, Phoenix has actually gone to Lazy Boy Furniture, and I'm telling you, it may not have the pop and appeal, may not have like the, the different colored stitching, but this is some of the most comfortable RV furniture I've ever sat in. It's extremely comfortable to sit in. This is a bed as well. It's your standard pull-out bed, uh, and as you will see, you also have two big shelves on both sides there uh, with plug-ins as well so if you need to plug in a laptop or tablet you can do that or of course set your cocktail drink there whatever else glass of water and you have storage underneath them these guys right here do open up you have storage tucked away then if you take a look around you here, you'll see a uh, big window space. All the windows have slow rise roller shades on there, which are great. You don't have to worry about blinds bending or strings breaking, anything like that. And again, I like the fact they went with beige. It helps keep it nice and bright in here. Also, you have uh, this wooden trim all the way around the window. I think it gives it a really classy look when you have the uh, windows up, just having this trim there, it's really nice. Of course, you have your valances up top. I think they just did a great job finishing this coach out. Wall sconces on the side help with some extra lighting as well as LED lights right up here. Additional storage across the top. You have the nice decorative glass there. You can see you also have some uh, auxiliary lighting right up here as well as two more lights there. Then as we move to the off door slide, right here is a theater seating. Again, same thing, Lazy Boy furniture, extremely comfortable, you just sink right in. You have uh, cup holders right here, both of these do recline, so you can kick both of these back, relax, and again, you have a straight shot right at the TV. Large windows all the way around too, really let in a lot of natural light, and you'll see again, a couple LED lights here, uh, your wall scones right there too. Moving up a little further, you get into the freestanding table and chairs. Uh, plenty of room here for four people, so that way if you need to you know, sit down, have a meal, want to have some guests over, you can entertain. The chairs here do lift up, so you have additional storage underneath. If you want to put some place settings or something under there, you can certainly do that. Nice table runner helps tie it all together. Then if you take a look right here, this is kind of cool. They put this nice decorative wall board there. They also have some hooks. So if you know if you want a place to hang jackets, you can hang them there. Otherwise, again, it just kind of has a nice offset. I think it gives it a, a good break, a good look there. Now as we move over to this other side, you know, I know this is beautiful, you're thinking, okay, standard rear living, but when he was out there, he talked about a bonus room and a loft, and that's what we're going to get into. Before we do though, I do want to talk about your fantastic vent, your controls right here. If you take a look, that's right up top, so if you don't want to run the AC, but you still want a nice breeze through here, open up some windows, turn that guy on, and it really helps create a lot of suction. Also, you have another coat rack here, so right as soon as you walk in the door, you can hang your jackets up there as well. Now let's start right here in the bonus room. Head on in with me here. We can take a look. Underneath you'll see you have your cube style couch. So uh, that's cool because it's very versatile. It makes a comfortable couch. Also folds out into a large bed. So if you do have adult guests that are staying and, you know, and they don't want to sleep on the couch or you have multiple, uh, you know, you can sleep adults here. This one's a little bit shorter, built more for kids. But again, you do have that extra space. Also, it is on strut so you can lift it up and out of the way. That way if you're sitting on the couch, it won't hit your head. Right up top here, some LED lights as well as a big window window right over there. Now if you take a look here, 
You get some great extra storage. Take a look at that. Nice hanging rod. So if you want to hang anything, you can certainly go ahead and do that. You have additional storage right down here, which is phenomenal. So, you know, if you have uh, any kids or anything that want to, you know, stay in this room, you can certainly do that. Then right over here, again, additional storage there up top place to mount a TV. So you can have a TV in here, your hookups right down there, a uh, little bit of shelving there, and again, additional storage down below. And of course, for any kind of privacy, you do have the pocket door right here, which does slide shut. So very cool. Great uh, extra bonus room again off the side. So if you, you know, you can sleep a couple kids in there or guests, whatever you want. Now, the other thing you have is this right here. You see this big ladder. This is the climb up into the loft. So if you want to uh, take a look right up there, it's a little tough off to see because it is high but you can see you have the nice railing there a window you also have a headboard right up top uh, again a little bit tougher to see but that, there that is some lights up there and a vent as well so very cool you get a ton of sleeping space you have the couch here you have two beds in here you have the large bed up top which is phenomenal also your control panel I like what they've done you can see that right here this is nice and tucked away uh, it's really cool underneath they have spots for your keys so you don't have to worry about hanging your own key ring they they have this little shelf here up top and if you notice there's a hole the reason for it is there's USB ports right here so if you need to charge a cell phone go ahead and plug them in you can put your cell phones right here and have them charge up and of course the rest of your controls will be tucked away right there in that panel all right that'll wrap it up for the bottom half let's head on up we'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom in the bathroom of the 35BL, you will notice right down here is your foot flush lever toilet. You can see you have a ton of leg room all the way around. Then as we move up and move into the neo-angle shower, I like the doors on here. You can see how these kind of close and open. That way the door stays right in the track. Then if you see in here, you'll see the nice oil rub bronze hand wand, some shelving in here, skylight up top. You can see you have plenty of leg room. I'm about six foot and you have a ton of height here. So if you are a taller person, it's not a problem taking a shower in this unit. Also, the other thing I like about it is, of course, you have the skylight for light during the day, but you also have this large LED light right here at nighttime. A lot of times, manufacturers don't do that. If you're taking a shower at night, it can be pretty dark. Not a problem in the Phoenix 35BL. Then right over here is our gorgeous vanity. Again, solid surface countertops, even in the bathroom. They have this beautiful sunken vessel bowl here, the high-rise faucet, just a really nice look. And then underneath, you'll see you have some additional storage space. They went ahead and gave you a basket as well. Then linen closet right over here, which you have to love that. Plenty of space for your towels and everything. Two entrances and, ex entrances and exits into the bathroom as well. You have one into the main area, one right here into the bedroom. The bedroom is a slider door. The main one is a uh, swinging door, your standard door, but take a look at this. Both of the main bathroom door as well as your main bedroom door have locks on them, which is really cool. Something you don't see very often in RVs, but something that I definitely think is needed. So I like that Phoenix is went ahead taken that step and put locks on those doors but that will finish it up for the bathroom let's go take a look at the bedroom in the bedroom the 35 bl you'll notice the queen bed is in a nice slide out here you can see the padded headboard some reading lights there as well and windows on both sides also you have some cubby holders on both sides as well which is great for a cell phone or a cup of water and you'll see you have electrical outlets on both sides too so again if you need to charge a cell phone or if you have a cpap machine you can go ahead and plug that in either side of the bed as well also you have substantial storage underneath the bed it is on two large struts making it very easy to access anything underneath you can see how high the bed comes up so even if you have items up in front it is still very easy to get to now as we take a look in the front of the coach here, you will notice the large wardrobe. You can see you have shelving space all across the top, great hanging space here as well. You have big shelves, both on this side over here as well as this side here, and a nice shoe rack in the back with an auxiliary light. Now if you do want washer dryer, you do have hookup in here so you can take these shelves out and that's where your washer and dryer would go. Then right here at the foot of the bed, if you take a look, you'll notice you have TV hookups. Right there is a spot where the TV would mount on the wall, so I do recommend a, a swing arm, but either way, you can go ahead and mount the TV there. A le additional electrical outlet right here, so if you do have any auxiliary components you want to plug in, you can do that as well. Then you can see you have a great chest of drawers here, four large full extension drawers on there, and you have a dirty clothes hamper right here. It folds open just like that, really cool, nice and easy to access, of course, just throw your dirty clothes right in there. 
Last but not least, if you do want a second AC, this unit is prepped for one, so you can go ahead and have a second AC in here too. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Shasta Phoenix 35BL. This is a phenomenal floor plan, uh, especially if you have a lot of guests that come with you, whether it's kids, whether it's other family members. This gives you the rear living feel. You have the big dual opposing slides. You have that nice uh, island in the kitchen, and you have the bonus room off the side with the loft, so you can sleep a ton of people here. You have your uh, nice large bathroom with a beautiful vanity, locks on the bedroom, and and the bathroom doors. You can see you have plenty of storage up here. It's 40 foot long. It's definitely one you need to come take a look at. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those in the section below, or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you do have particular questions on the specs of this unit, or if you're looking for latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit subscribe. That way you can continue to see future and new content. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.